Let's go to page 167, and this is lesson 4-1. And this lesson is to simplify, add, and subtract polynomials. So let's go to some definitions. So a const constant is a number. An example of that would be like negative 2, 3 over 5, 0. Okay. The next definition, monomial. Monomial means have one term, and so it can be a constant like this over here. It can be a variable like this one here. Or it can be a product of a constant and one or more variable. Okay, so again, you can have the number and variable, or you can have more than one variable. Okay, so these are examples of monomial. Monomial means one term. The next, the next definition is coefficient. Coefficient is the number before uh, the variables. So like this one, the coefficient is three. Okay, in this case, the coefficient is one. And the coefficient of this would be negative one. The next one is the degree of a variable. Degree of variable is an exponent. So like this one over here, the x is, is a first degree because it's, it's one, okay? That's no number, but means it's one. And the degree of y is three because it's a third power, okay? So again, degree means the exponent. So this is a degree of each, of, of each variable. Then the next level is a degree of a whole polynomial. So like this one over here, the degree of this panel, the degree of this polynomial will be four. So like over here, because you got one degree from the x, three degree from the y. So this whole term is degree of four. And this one over here, this is a degree of five, because you got two degrees from the s, three degree from the t. So the total degree will be five. Okay. This one, the u has one degree. And then constant number, has a degree of zero. Okay. okay, the next definition or similar or like terms or monomials, okay? In order to be similar, the, um, um, the variable part has to be exactly the same. So you got S squared and T cubed, X squared, T cubed. So these are similar. These two are not similar because you got X1 and you got X3, so they are not the same. Again, to be similar, the variable part had to be identical, okay. Uh, polynomial, polynomial means a monomial or sum of the monomials, okay. Again, polynomial means, you know, you, you have a whole bunch of terms, and okay? there'll be example of polynomial. So you have one term here, one term here, so this is an example of polynomial. Now, for polynomials, if you have only one term, the special name for it is monomial. If you have two terms, the special name for it is binomial. And if you have three terms, the special name for it is trinomial. Okay, so those are just some of the spatial polynomials. Okay, next definition is simplified polynomial. Okay. A polynomial in which no two terms are similar means, you, means there's nothing else you can combine. That means it's simplified. Okay. So, like, so like this one, this is not simplified because you got x to the three, x to the three. So these two can combine. Okay, so this, so this is not simplified. Now, once you combine these two together, it becomes three x to the three. So now, this is simplified because you cannot combine anymore. The next part is, the next definition is degree of a polynomial. Degree of the polynomial is the degree of the, the, the term with the highest degree, okay? So you, what you do is you get a degree of each term and then take the highest one for the entire polynomial. So like this one, this is degree four, this one is degree five, this is degree one, this is degree zero. So highest one is this one here, and it's five. So this polynomial is degree five, okay? So again, for the whole polynomial, you take the one with the highest degree, okay? Take the, the one with the highest degree. Okay, okay next let's go over some examples. On page 168, example 1a, uh, you have an x minus 3x squared plus 8 plus x squared plus 2 plus 4x. Okay, it says simplify and arrange terms in order of decreasing degree of x. 
then write the degree of the polynomial. Okay, so let's go and combine the like terms. When you combine the like terms, it's better if you go from the highest degree to lowest degree. Okay, so if you look over here, so this, this has degree two, this has degree two. So when you add this together, it will give you negative two x squared. Then you go to the x, the, the one degree term. So this will give you plus five x. And after that, you do the numbers. Okay, so it will be plus 10. Okay, so again, you combine the like terms. Okay, then you have to write a degree, the degree of the whole polynomial. So this is the second degree. This is one degree. This is zero. So highest one is this one. So answer would be two. So it would be second degree. Okay, for B, you have x to the 3, y to the 3, minus 6xy to the 4, plus 2x to the 3, y, minus x3, y to the 3, plus 3xy to the 4, minus 4x squared y. Okay, so let's go. This one is kind of all scrambled. So let's go and look for the like term. So this we cancel out. Okay, then after that, we, we're just going to go from left to right. Okay, so this one, uh, x, y, 4, x, y, 4. So you can do this one here. Okay, so this would be negative 3, x, y to the 4. And then this one does not have anything to combine. Okay, so it would be plus 2x to the 3y and minus 4x squared y. Okay, so the next step is we have to arrange this in decreasing order of x. So this is x to the 3, so we need to write that first. Okay, and then the x squared and then the x. Now, instead of doing the extra step, when you combine a like term, you can already start from the, the x cubed one. So do the, all the x cubed first. Then after you do the x squared, and then do the x. That will save you one step, okay? Okay, but anyway, so this one over here. So this is the fourth degree. This is three, and this is five. So in this case, the fifth degree would be your polynomial. Okay, let's go to example two. Okay, so you're gonna add two uh, x squared minus three x plus five and x cubed minus five x squared plus two x minus five. Okay, so when you're adding polynomials, you can do it horizontally or you can do it vertically. Okay, so let's do the horizontal first. So you got 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. Okay, so you're going to add this onto this, right? Okay, so first what you can do is you can go ahead and get rid of the parentheses. Okay, let's go and get rid of the parentheses. Now you have to be careful. If there's a minus, you have to distribute, okay? The plus, when you distribute, it doesn't change anything. So copy the problem, get rid of all the, the um, parentheses, then you can go and start to combine the like terms. So I'm going to start with the highest degree, so that's x to the 3. And then I'm going to do the square. Look for all the squares. So that's it. So 2 minus 5 will become minus 3. Okay, and then after that, you do the 1 power. So just be organized. Go from the third power, two power, and do the one power. So this will be minus x, and the number plus five minus five cancel out. Okay, so that's when you do it horizontally. Now when you do it vertically, you need to arrange this in order, and you have to line everything up. Okay. So you have, to, you have two x squared minus three x plus five, and this one you got x to the three minus 5x to the 2 plus 2x minus 5. Okay, so you have to arrange everything in order. Now, if, if, if there's a missing term, you just kind of leave a blank space. Okay, so when you add, okay, you, can go up, you can have x to the 3, and this would be minus 3x squared 
minus x and this cancel out. So you, you get the same answer. Okay. <clears throat> so again, advantage and disadvantage is when you do a horizontally, you don't have to re you don't have to arrange the terms. Whatever you have, you just you can just write it down and you just go and start from the highest to the lowest. Okay. Okay, so that's the advantage of the horizontal. Okay, you, you don't have to um, rearrange terms. But advantage of vertical is, is more clear, it's easier to add. Okay? When you line it up and whatever you get, that's it. Okay. Okay, let's go to example three. Okay, you're going to subtract 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 from, I kind of put in parentheses already, okay, so from x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 5. Okay, so when you subtract it from, you have to put this in the back, so you have to subtract this from this. So that means you're going to have x to the 3 minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 5 minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. So again, you subtract this from this, okay? Your next step is you're gonna multiply out, okay? Multiply out and to get rid of the parentheses. So you just distribute whatever in front. So one times anything would be the same. Okay, this one you distribute would so be minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. Okay. And after that, I combine the like terms. So this would be x to the 3. Okay, so this would be minus 7x squared. Right, same sign, you add a number together. Right, so it's 5 and 2 give you 7. Okay, then after that, you do the 1 power, so it would be plus 5x. And the left over, again, same sign, you have to add the number together, and you take the sign of the higher number, okay. and that would be the answer. Okay, okay. example four. Okay, you want to simplify. You have an x times 2y minus 3 plus 4 times x plus 2y minus 3y times x minus 1. Okay, so first you need to distribute to get rid, get rid of the parentheses. So distribute would be 2xy multiply minus 3x. This one multiply, you get plus 4x. Multiply, you get plus 8y. This one multiply, you get minus 3xy. This one multiply, you get plus 3y. Okay, so, so next thing is go ahead and combine the like terms. Okay, so I'm going to do the xy first. So this would become minus 1xy. And then the x terms. So this would mm, become plus x. And the left over. So this one and this one would be plus 11y. Um, in this case, it didn't specify how you want how they want you to write this in order, so you can put in any order. So this so this is fine. Okay. Now if you don't like that, you can always if you want to get a book answer, you can just go and switch this. So just move this to the front. Okay. So either way, if it doesn't specify, you can do any you know you can write anyway. But if it says arranging certain way, you have to follow the instruction. 